Hey there, this is Corey Huff with TheAbundantArtist.com and today I want to show you how easy it is to create an artist website using a piece of software called WordPress and we're going to do it in just a few minutes. Now the example that you have in front of you here is an example website that I put together based on Leonardo da Vinci's work. You can see there's a nice little home page with his picture and some text about Leonardo da Vinci and then the really cool thing is this gallery. So you can see that uh, you can see all of Leonardo da Vinci's uh, drawings here on this page. You'll see that there's a drop down menu with different categories of, of his drawings. And if we click on uh, one of these drawings here, you'll see that there's space next to it for text and you can actually scroll from image to image. This is pretty sexy stuff. The first thing that we have to do is we have to sign up for web hosting. If you already have a web host, then uh, you can uh, skip ahead a little bit, but uh, I recommend Bluehost.com, and Bluehost uh, is very cheap, $5 a month, and uh, once you go to Bluehost and you sign up and log in, you should see a screen that looks like this one here. And what you're going to do is Bluehost has a really simple uh, installed mechanism for WordPress. Right here, you just click WordPress and you should get a screen that looks like this with your domain names. And you scroll down and click install and pick the domain name that you want to install it on. Pick your password. And say I have read, and read the terms and conditions and click complete. And you wait for it to finish. You'll get the login screen like this one and go ahead and put in your password and you'll get this screen here. This is the WordPress dashboard. Now to see what your site looks like now, because you actually have a site now, something very simple like this, very plain and boring, we are going to jazz it up and create that gallery that we showed you at the top of the video. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to upload a new template, or excuse me, a new theme. The themes control how your website looks. And for this instance, we're going to use a free theme called WP Folio. Just click install. And the way that we're going to add the art so that it shows up in the gallery is through posts. Click Add New. Go ahead and type the title of your artwork here. And then we're going to say Set Featured Image. Click Select from your desktop. And we're going to say use as featured image. And we're also going to insert this image into the post itself. And what this will do is the featured image will create a thumbnail and the image in the post itself will create a larger image for people to view. And here you have the opportunity to put any text that you want. And you could talk about uh, your inspiration for this piece of work. And another important thing is we're going to add categories to this piece so that we can get that drop down menu. So we need to create a parent category. So we'll call this parent category drawings. And then we're going to create a subcategory. And we'll say this is war images. And we'll make it a child category of the drawings say add new category. All right, then we click publish. And you're going to do this a couple more times.
Okay, now we have a small collection of artwork. And if you refresh the page, you'll see that they have just that the site has just published the pieces of art on the page. Now we're going to make it look more like a website and less like a blog. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new page. And this new page we're going to call home. This home page is going to be where you put a little bit about yourself. And you can publish that page. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to create another page called blog leave it blank and then under reading I'm going to say static page home will be the front page and the posts will all appear on your blog page now this is going to change the site pretty dramatically so you notice that there on the home page uh, the is the uh, home page that we created and if you click blog you'll see all of the images that you've uploaded now how do we get that gallery this is where we get pretty slick go to appearance menus and we're gonna create a cut create a custom menu we're gonna call it uh, main menu And then we're going to add the blog and the home page to that menu. We're also going to add all of the categories of our art to that menu. And make sure that you drag the art categories over a little bit so that they're subcategories of the drawings. And we say save menu. Actually, want to rearrange the order of that menu. After you have created your menu over here on the left, you're going to choose that that menu, hit save, and refresh your page again. You'll see that the menu has changed. And if you mouse over the drawings, you'll see that you've got a drop-down menu. Click on Drawings, and you've got a gallery. You can create all sorts of different looks. You can make these thumbnails larger. You can change colors. You can change themes so that your look is totally different. For example, if I were to keep going and experimenting with different uh, templates, I might try the full screen template. And by adding more artwork and changing to a different template, I get something like this. Or by changing to the F8 template, I get something like this. Those are some great examples of how you can use WordPress to create your own artist website and have it look exactly the way that you want it to look. There's a very in-depth guide to WordPress uh, on my website, theabundantartist.com slash community, where you can sign up for the WordPress course as well as a series of courses on how to market your art online. Let me know if you have any questions.